here is an example uh, where several sheets are configured uh, using only the uh, model space area or model space tab. Uh, this is an old school uh, drawing uh, from the previous uh, TAD user. Uh, most of you now are working with layouts, but the ones who still working at the old fashioned way at the old school still make the configuration and settings of the sheets that they want to print on the model space tab. So what you we need to do is to print all the drawings, but if we do this uh, manually all we have to do is to define the printer then we have to define the area that we want to print the size of the paper the number of copies the scale of the drawing and um, the plot style table and then we press OK and this drawing will be sent to the printer after that we have to follow the same procedure for sheet number two and then number three, number four and so on and so on. So uh, you can see we spend a lot of time uh, sending all the sheets one by one to the printer. What we're going to do is to um, to set up uh, an application that we Ibercat have developed for this, uh, so we don't have to f to make this um, procedure over and over again. So for the, uh, for at first we need to open the zwcad.pt website, which is Ibercat's uh, the Portuguese uh, zwcad distributor of uh, zwcad uh, in Portugal. So we make www.zwcad.pt then we press block. I know most of you who speak English don't understand what's in the website. Uh, forget it, it's just for the Portuguese user. But if you press blog, you will find that uh, our blog is developed not only in Portuguese but also in English. And you will find the same text in English and Portuguese. Uh, if we go a little bit uh, down, we will find an English version of the same text that is up in Portuguese. Um, in this case, uh, we you have to follow uh, a post that we have made on uh, 19 February 2015. Uh, this is the first post that post that we ever made on this blog. So uh, now it is easy to find because it's the only one. Uh, but uh, later you will have to search for these dates in order to find the 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 link so you can make the installation of this application. If you go to the text you will find at this address and if you press here it will make the download of the English version of uh, an application ca called Bplot which stands for bonus plot. Then you have to go on ZWCAD and if you are using ribbons you must press the manage tab and then click load application. Uh, after that you need to add file but first I'm going to uh, tell you how you can do this if you are using the ZWCAD classic interface. Um, basically you have to go to the pull down menus and press tools and then load application. Or if you want to, to use the common prompt you just need to, uh, to write app load and it will open the same dialog box. Then you have to press add file and you have to tell the computer that you want to use the bplot underscore english dot zel and then press add and after that you will press load. Uh, if you intend to use this application more times uh, and you don't want to reload it one over and over again, you can add it to startup suits and that will mean that each time you open a new drawing, this application will be lowered automatically. So you press OK and now we are, we are ready to test this application. First of all, we must configure the plot of the first sheet. It's the only one we need to configure. 
For first, we have to define the name of the plotter or the printer. In this case, I will use a printer that I don't have. Uh, it, I have only installed the driver, so we can test this application. Then we must define the paper size. In this case, it is A3. Uh, one more thing, you cannot use the PC5 files. You must use system printers. This application doesn't work with PC5 um, files. So we need to define the name of the printer, the paper size, and the number of copies. Three things so far. Then we have to define the plot scale. In my case, 10 per 1. This is the fourth thing. And then the fifth thing, which is the name of the plot style table. I'll press OK. And after that, instead of pressing OK, that will bring the drawing to the printer, I press Apply to Layout. So this configuration for this sheet, this sheet is already uh, defined. So as you can see, I have not defined the area that I want to plot. This will do later. I'll press cancel and now I'm ready to use the bonus plot application. I press B plot and now it will ask me for the bottom left corner of the sheet number one and I press it, it is here. And the upper right corner of sheet number two. Here it is. Now the bottom left corner of sheet number two. And the upper right corner of sheet number two. And so on for number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. And I'll stop right here so the video doesn't doesn't go too long. But I could continue and uh, plot all the files, all the sheets, and I'll press Enter. And now each of these drawings will be sent to the same printer. Of course, I'm having errors here because I don't have this printer. I only have installed the drivers, as I told you before. And uh, all the drawings will send will be sent at once uh, to the same printer with the same paper size.